Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I am going to share a very special face mask recipe. I have been traveling a lot these days and my skin is taking all the toll because of all my traveling and all. So I have been facing acne problems, dark circles, discoloration, dull and tired skin problems recently. So I decided to apply my favorite mask today and I thought why not share it with you guys. So I am shooting a video today and I am shooting this intro part after I have applied my mask and removed it up of course. So you may not be able to see my dull and tired skin right now but you will see in the later part of the video. So yeah, um, my skin may look a little refreshed but it was not the case before. So the hero of this facial mask is Multani Mitti or Fuller's Earth. It is the most famous skincare ingredient and it is very beneficial. It is very good for oily skin, acne prone skin. It also helps in diminishing blemishes and it also helps in removing tan and uh, sucking out all the dirt and impurities and oil and it makes your skin so soft and supple. Other ingredients that I have used in this mask are lemon juice, potato juice and green tea. All these are really good for acne prone skin. Green tea is absolutely amazing. It helps in detoxifying your skin and shout impurities. It is rich in antioxidants and tannins and thus it helps in treating puffy eyes and dark circles. The main reason I am using green tea in this mask is because it is rich in cat which fights acne causing bacteria and helps in clearing up skin. It also helps in reducing deadness caused by zits. So because I am suffering from black, uh, sorry, dark circles as well because of all the traveling and all. So I added potato juice in my mask so that it can also fight my uh, dark circles and other you know pigmentation issues and just to uh, brighten up my dull skin helps in reducing blemishes and heal sunburned skin which is very common if you are traveling frequently potato juice is really helpful in treating dark circle and pigmentation and it is also helpful in removing scars if you don't want to use it in mask you can just use uh, its juice apply it onto your skin and leave it for some time and then you can wash it away and lemon juice as you all know is rich in vitamin C and vitamin C is really good to brighten up your skin and to fight pigmentation. It lightens your dark spots and it helps in evening out your skin tone and since it is rich in citric acid and vitamin C so it acts as a gentle exfoliator. It gently removes dead cells from your skin and it also helps in reducing oil secretion so it's really good for oily skin and it also fights uh, pimple causing bacteria and it is also helpful in reducing pigmentation because it's rich in vitamin C. This mask is really simple to make. Take required amount of Multani Mitti. I am taking one and half spoon of Multani Mitti because I want to apply it onto my face and neck. And then I am adding approximately one and half spoon of a potato juice. You just have to grate the potato and squeeze out the juice from it. And then I am adding half lemon juice uh, into the mask. Whenever you are using lemon juice, always make sure that you are using fresh lemon juice because the concentration of vitamin C in lemon reduces with time. And then I am adding approximately 2 spoons of uh, green tea water. So what I have done is I have uh, soaked green tea into warm water for some time and without filtering I am adding this water into the mask. Now mix this mask uh, until you are happy with the consistency. Now I am going to apply this mask onto my face using a face mask brush. Apply even layer of this mask onto your face and as you can see I am applying this mask near to my eyes because I have a put few ingredients that will help uh, me to reduce my dark circles and pigmentation which I have around my eye so I'm applying it near my mouth and near my eye because I'm sure that I will be keeping my eyes and mouth 
uh, in a relaxed mode um, for some times while I have this mask on so if you're not sure that you will be able to keep your mouth and eyes in relaxed mode so avoid applying it near to your eyes and your mouth because that may cause a uh, little fine lines around your eyes and mouth and don't forget your neck while uh, you are applying your mask. Uh, this is a problem with me too. I often forget to apply mask onto my neck while I'm masking. So don't forget your neck. And once done, I'm going to let it sit onto my face for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll let it dry. So I just washed my face and removed the mask. It was really difficult to remove this much mask. But yes, the results are really amazing. I can definitely feel how soft and supple my skin is right now. And definitely I can see that it has removed all the dullness. And since it is a detox mask, it is also going to help me combat my acne and pimple issues. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and this video was useful for you. So if you happen to use this mask, please let me know how this worked for you. I will be very happy to know about it and yeah please give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and also subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected and i'll see you in my next video till then take care bye